Hello everyone, my name's Steph. I will be your vet today and I'm going to walk you through how we can assess our best friends at home. If your pet's sleeping, just be careful you don't uh, just uh, approach them suddenly. Make sure you've got a parent with you. And probably the best thing to do is to first put your hand on them so you, they know that you're going to make contact with them and you do it in a friendly way. You can actually tell a lot about your pet's health via just looking at your pet. They tell you through their body language and through their overall appearance how their health is. Make sure if, if they're sitting, like good old Scouty is here, that he looks like he's sitting in a comfortable way. He's not uh, leaning onto one si side to avoid putting weight through a specific area. The next step is to see his mobility. Come on Scouty, here we go. There we go. Scouty's showing me that he's moving around really comfortably and really well. He's not limping, he's not favouring a particular side. And I know he's happy to sit down, he's happy to stand up and sit and beg. Ah, oh, good boy. We will look at their, their faces and their heads and make sure that everything looks good there. I'd like to look at his eyes and I can tell that his eyes are nice and bright and clear. There's no dark discharge or a yellow colored staining. Have a look at his nose and then see the general appearance of their mouth. Uh, be careful not to put your fingers anywhere near their mouth or lift their lips up especially if you have a, don't have a parent present. So the next step I would do is have a bit of a look in uh, Scouty's ears. So again, make sure your parent's present. Some animals don't like it if you look too closely. Lift them up and have a bit of a look from afar. I can't see any redness, no swelling, no discharge, so that's perfect. It's a good idea to have a look at your overall pet's um, coat. Make sure that he's not missing, they're not missing hair in a specific spot. There's no redness. As I move towards his tail, I can tell that he's been moving his tail around really well. I've been seeing him wag it a lot and it looks great. Sometimes some dogs can have uh, bits of hair missing on their tail or just above their tail base which that can be a sign of fleas. The next step I normally do is I can take a dog's temperature. I have a thermometer and I'll normally take their temperature just popping the thermometer in their bottom and I can very quickly measure their temperature. Normally most dogs have a range of uh, between 36 degrees up to about 37.5, 38 degrees. The next step I'll normally do is listen to their heart. The heart is, is integral to our body systems and we want to make sure that it's beating rhythmically and at a consistent pace. Most dogs' heart rate is a little bit higher than humans um, and it depends what size your dog is. The smaller your dog, uh, the faster their heart, their normal heart rate is. I'll come in and listen to his heart with my stethoscope and I can hear a very clear, crisp sound of his beating heart. It's a nice slow rate, which tells me that he's fit, he's healthy. And the next thing that you can do with your pet is to check out their breathing rate. So normally the best time to do this is when your pet's sleeping and you can do it from afar. If you count over a minute and look at your watch, and um, count how many times they're breathing within a minute. Normally like to see at least under 30. If your pet while they're sleeping, is breathing rate's a little bit higher than that, normally it's completely fine. Just best to check it out with a vet. Check their nails, make sure that their nails aren't too long because sometimes the nails can get really long and curl over and end up um, being quite uncomfortable for your pet. Make sure that their eating behavior is quite regular also try and find out how much water they're drinking during the day. Most dogs, if they're going through any more than a bowl of water a day, it's probably a good idea to just pop in and see your vet. One way to make sure your pet is in a healthy weight range is to actually put your hand just onto the, the side of their rib cage. And if you can feel their ribs really easily, normally they're in a, a pretty good weight range. If you can't feel your pet's ribs at all, 
then that could be uh, quite an indication that they are overweight. A good idea is to just come from above, look down and, and have a look at the actual shape of their abdomen. Scouties goes out for his abdomen and his chest and rib cage, and then it comes back in. Being overweight can cause all sorts of uh, issues in their joints. It can cause other metabolic and hormonal changes as well. And overall, I think that's, um, that pretty much covers most of the assessment of your, of your pet. And I'm sure all your pets are really fit and healthy, but make sure they do go and see the vet at least once a year and that they're not too overweight.